So School of Instructions is a book-length poem about the experience of West Indian soldiers in World War I, soldiers who fought for, uh, in British regiments, um, mostly in the, in, the, in the Middle East war theater. Um, they, these West Indian soldiers, black and brown, from various islands in the Caribbean, um, fought all over Europe, but they were uh, treated very poorly. They were taken to be uh, what, what's, what the phrase used often in the document in the war archives is cannon fodders. So they were there to do service work, to dig the, the trenches, to carry the, the weapons, and so on. So they were sort of like beasts of burden. And I was very interested in that position that they had to occupy, even though they were soldiers. Um, they, they went to fight. Um, they went to fight for England. They went to, to save Europe um, in this period. And, but they didn't see combat in Europe. Um, they did see a little bit of action in, uh, in, in the Middle East, in various uh, parts of uh, Syria, um, in, in, uh, in Israel, and, and so I wanted to, to treat that experience with as much uh, tactile imagery and rhythmic force as possible to imagine their experience of war and the trauma of war uh, with, with force, with, um, with, a, with texture that uh, brings us close to their, the, what they might have felt, that, that inten the intensity of being uh, displaced in, a, in, in, two, in two main ways, displaced as bodies uh, vulnerable to, to death in, in, in this uh, war scenario, but also displaced because they, are, they were in servitude uh, to, the, to the empire. And I wanted also to humanize their experience, to not make it only be about the experience of combat and being uh, subjected to, the, to the, the, the desert, to the extremity of, of life, but to imagine what life might have been like for them when they were in Jamaica, in St. Lucia, in, uh, in St. Vincent and, and Barbados, wherever they might have uh, left their islands for to go and fight. What names did they have? Um, how did they look? What, what was a, 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 an average normal day for them? And one way into humanizing them was to draw on the experience of a a second character that goes uh, throughout the, the, the book, whose name is Godspeed, a young boy living in Jamaica in the 1990s. Um, and by focusing on the narrative of Godspeed's life, I was able to, or attempted to weave his daily experience of going to school, eating a cake, um, being completely smitten by a, a, a girl his age, and, uh, and being very mischievous uh, wherever he went. But also, um, he's very delicate and kind, uh, just, just, a, just a, a normal average boy. So I wanted to impose his uh, life story on the life stories of these uh, men, these soldiers, who might have resembled Godspeed in some ways, at least up to a point. It, it means a lot to be nominated for this award. I am deeply grateful. Um, you know, you r work as a poet in solitude in this, I wouldn't want to, I'm, I'm exaggerating by saying solitary confinement. Um, but you, you, you never know um, where your work might go. Uh, you have hope for it once you've done the work. And so whenever, um, a wonderful uh, nomination like this uh, comes around, um, I can only feel the deepest gratitude. And um, it, it, it is a sign that the work is uh, trying to find its way uh, after I have um, released it from myself. So I am just profoundly grateful for 
being one of the nominees for the 2023 Elliott Prize.